I called it a political proctology exam. Actually, the Attorney General and the Deputy Attorney General in the original four-page memo said that they found no basis for obstruction. And you know he's been cleared. Look, this is the Mueller report, Mueller investigation. Mueller's team helped with the redaction. So all of you who have been talking about how wonderful the Mueller team and, the, and how important it was to protect Mueller, uh, how, wonder, how important it was to protect the investigation, how important it was to protect the Deputy Attorney General, that report makes very clear that this White House and this President and none of us uh, got in their way. That report makes very clear that this White House and this president and none of us uh, got in their way. Never um, refused to comply with the request. Lots of uh, people went over there and testified, many documents produced, and that the De Department of Justice made very clear that every request that they issued was actually responded to and fulfilled. That should make people feel very good about democracy. It should make them feel really great that a campaign that I managed to its successful end did not collude with any Russians. We're accepting apologies today, too, for anybody who feels the grace um, in offering them. There was no collusion, and there certainly was no criminal conspiracy with any Russians. When I needed to find negative information about, how to, about Hillary Clinton and how to beat her, I looked no further than Hillary Clinton. Well, that's punditry. That's actually not a sophisticated... The intent matters. And the president's intention here was not to was not to do that, and so intent matters. And I know you want to cherry pick one line here or one line there because uh, the big lie that you've let fly for two years it's over, folks. I mean, I guess if people want to investigate in Congress, they want to waste their time and and not listen to, to people like Nancy Pelosi or saying let's not impeach, let's move on, let's talk about what was her word yesterday, kitchen table issues. Let's have here it is. There's nothing. As I was very surprised to see that by somebody who's been here sparingly over the last uh, couple of years, I was very surprised to see that because that was not the reaction of the president that day when I was there. And he has never, there are words that the, where the president's quoted um, throughout the report where he doesn't use those words. So I'm not sure you can ask the people about that, and, but, but I, I will tell you, he has never once um, on the campaign, said, I think we should resign. I'm not going to run anymore. Let's just, that, that we're done here. I can go back to my happy life, make billions of dollars. Uh, he has never said that during the campaign. He has certainly never said that since we're here. And I've been that, by his side for three straight years now. There were contacts between the Trump campaign, Trump associates, and Russians, Russian operatives. Honestly, it's time to move on. Total exoneration. The president's in a great mood. And I think what's incredibly important here is that democracy in the world's greatest country, greatest democracy, flourishes. You don't need to collude with a foreign government. You don't need to get information from WikiLeaks. You can win elections fairly and squarely. There were contacts between the Trump campaign, Trump associates, and Russians, Russian operatives. If they think it is, then they can call him to testify. But the co but the country also has a right to ask, when are you going to legislate and not investigate? Okay. Is this oversight or overreach? The Attorney General said today, sure, you want to call the, uh, Mr. Mueller to testify, call him to testify. But I think the burden is increasingly going to be on those who won't let go of this big lie to prove why they are continuing it just in a different forum. The promise and the wish of many people many people who for some reason you give a lot of air time and ink to who have zero well the president said all along it's a witch hunt and it's a hoax i just called it a political proctology exam and we emerge with a clean bill of health uh, but investigating the investigators is something that some of the investigators think would be a good idea this country look if you're going to scream about transparency and accountability and you need investigations for two years then i got 22 more months to wait to see how we got here in the first place Looking hard you have people on your network sitting on tv all day just saying things because they're not under oath. They could just uh, so we know there have been leaks. And again, in the interest of our thriving democracy, before the president gets reelected, which is a sure thing at this point, let's, um, let's have, since we see Ungats, as my Italian grandma would say, nothing on the other side. Let's see, let's see, let's see who was leaking. Let's see, you know, let's put them under oath. Let's investigate the investigators. Why not? And anybody who objects to that is just being partisan. The, hack, the, the report suggests that Donald Trump did try to get rid of Robert